This video will show you how to get jack audio support for mumble input and mumble output using the ALSA loopback cables. I've already done so in the screen that you see before you. We have one cable for the mumble input and another separate loopback cable for mumble output. And I'll go over how to do that in just a minute. Right now I just want to show you the functioning of it. We're using the KX Studios jack audio applications and specifically the Carla Git version so that we can use this connection bay. On the input side, before we go into the mumble input, we, into the jack mixer we have a streaming app from another computer in the house. You know, the stuff that you would know about. And, uh, and that's what that audio is. We have my USB microphones right here on this channel. Mix is on another channel, and this is what that audio sounds like. About, you know, building a studio and talk about, can you guys talk a little bit about that? Recorded on and there and loaded up. And I have a, another sound card, the Behringer UCA222 line in jack, and we have another radio hooked into it as a demonstration. Sorry, the thawing coming, of course, because the planet is getting warmer. And that's what that sounds like. Now, the desktop audio from browser or from media players is also running. This is from the browser from Magnitude. And I have another separate application set up for Morse code. All of that can be mixed with Jack Mixer just so that you get how you prefer your volumes to be and it will go into the mumble input. So let's take a look at those cables. First thing you'll need to do is go into your etc modules as root privileges and enter this sound a loop enable equals however many loopback cables you want. I'm using five right now but right now I want to use one and two just for mumble input. The first one is zero and I keep that separate so that the numbers make sense to me. So for mumble input I'm using the first cable, for the mumble output I'm using the second cable, loopback cable 2. Let me show you how to set that up. Let's take a look at mumble and you'll see how to configure and find it. We're using plug HD HW cards so this is the mumble input using loopback cable 1, 1, 1 comma 1 and on the mumble output we're using 2 comma 1. So just as an example, if you're going to see this, just scroll down till you find plug hardware and every time you see these numbers here, that's what you're looking for. So for mumble output, 2, 1, and that would be at the top. Once you've done it, it'll put it at the top so you don't have to search for it again. And again, for this one, when you click on it, you're going to have a bunch of them. And then scroll down till you get plug HW and find 1 1. And this is just the way I'm doing it. There's other ways to set up these numbers. And there's 1 1 right here. It's at the top again since I've already used it once. It'll keep it at the top to make it easy access. Click apply and OK. Now you just need to get the volume set to it's about right here so that you're not using the mumble AGC circuit. When you use the mumble AG circuit, AGC circuit, it will work, but it will also affect how your audio looks on the waveform itself. It may or may not be a big deal, but, but I like to keep it right at about that level right here. Let me use some Morse code and I'll show you what we mean here. Just take that out. Right about there seems to be really good. And as you, if you recorded mumble and looked at it, you wouldn't see any wave uh, oddities. That seems, it's around minus 15, minus 14 dB as far as the input level. Now you can put a lot more in there, but you're going to get the AGC circuit working hard on mumble. And if you don't have to do it, sometimes the audio may come out with less harmonic distortion if you're an audio purist. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Now to get the loopback cables in here, we're going to use ALSA OUT and ALSA IN commands. This is for the mumble input. This is the command I used to do that. So ALSA OUT, the device is hardware 1, 0. Now in mumble you choose 1, 1. That's how you are able to 
send audio to one zero and it receives it on one one that channel I just need one channel for mumble and also it's a little touchy so if you don't get one of these things right on here it's not going to work you're not going to get any sound we're using 48k as a sample rate and we're changing with the dash j we're changing the name to mumble dash input and so we have one channel now for mumble output we're using this command structure again we're using loopback cable 2 for mumble output but for this alsa in command on hardware 2 which is that loopback cable one channel again 48k and mumble output but that's 20 here and 21 on mumble so I try to keep those same so that when you're it's less confusion when you're trying to find all these ALSA options when you open up mumble and see a, a ton of them it can be a little daunting as far as trying to figure out which one to use fortunately in mumble these are numbered so you just see I have 0 from 1 to 4 and that's another reason I like to start right there it also has 0 and 1 but this this seems to have be less confusing I like to just use 1 for input and 2 for output on mumble using now so now if if mumble had jack support and in uh, ubuntu 1204 if you had the kx studio uh, he had his own version uh, back in those days and i think in lucid as well you could actually build Mumble yourself with the jack patch, but I wasn't able to do that in 1404. So I tried it this way, and it seemed to be working very well. And it's the reason we like it in jack is you're able to use all sorts of mixing techniques to get whatever sound on your computer and in your sound card to go into the input of Mumble. And you could also apply VST plugins before you get to the input, and VST plugins and other plugins, LV2 and DSSI plugins on the mobile output if you wanted to. But I try to keep it simple just to show you. From the monitor of the jack mixer, we have a frequency analyzer. And just to double check your audio and see how things are looking, I'm also taking the monitor to this simple screen recorder but I'm using the mains for that but you could also use the monitor for that so mumble output to the screen recorder and system right here is my sound card system on this side is my laptop microphone which I have another tone coming into it so I can in a mini host modular we're using this setup for Morse code so that's what all that's for And this is the the desktop audio. This Alsa 2 Jack is the any media player or uh, browser audio will default to the default Alsa sound card. And with KX Studio, with his scripts and his um, setups, and there'll be some show notes on how to get that all done. I'm not going to go over that right now. They're just trying to show you how to get this mumble input and mumble output using those loopback cables so that you can use jack audio for the mumble and this is desktop audio and this is the, the default ALSA input so if you had another application say you had uh, you're using WebRTC or Skype or something although I don't think Skype uh, is it on the latest Skype I think they took the ALSA support out but anyway if you had another one for with default ALSA input this is where you would send your audio right into here instead of into this mumble input and you could do this if you set mumble to default you can also do it that way too so instead of doing it that way you could come up and just click default right there and if you did that then this is where you want to after you've got all your mixing done this is where you want to send your audio if you wanted to do it this way but I I found it pretty useful to have it to let mumble have its own input and output so that you can keep your browser audio and this input for something else now for Google Voice this will work so if you choose default default on your Google Voice on when you're on Linux on Gmail Google Voice this is where your Google 
caller would come in, the audio would come in, and this is where you would send the audio so the other, the Google Voice that you're talking to on Google Voice, that, that caller, you would send that in right over here. Just draw a wire from there to the input like that. That's just the basic setup. Uh, I think that pretty much covers the basics. So get those also loop back cables ready to go. You have to reboot in order for it to take and show up. Sound to loop, enable, equals however many you want. This first one will be loop back zero. The second one will be one, two, three, and four. So zero, one, two, three, four is what I have right here. Once you've done that, then you have access to them. And then you just use the ALSA in and ALSA out commands and they'll show up in Jack Audio. And if you are able to, f to get this working in your mumble outputs and mumble inputs to using the right ALSA selection, everything should work just fine. And you'll be able to mix everything just the way you want it. We'll take this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. and so literally, and just uh, show you. They're I all going in there. So when I fly it, I have it open there. And when I fly myself, the whole back closes behind me. There's a lot more you can so do with this, but I just wanted to get the basic set up. Thanks for watching.